What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. I am Nick, here with Ryan and Ty. What's Yo. up? Well, that wasn't too long of a wait, was it? It's tool time. Oh, yeah. We did The Pot, and we did Schism. So give me your thoughts about those two songs and the band as a whole so far. Both were fire. Yes. But well, we like The Pot. Me and Ryan like The Pot better. Yeah, of course. That's understandable. But you know what Tool fans are going to say? They're like, oh, every song is fire. Oh, well, yeah. It doesn't even matter. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> we're going to do Anima today. I hope I pronounced that right. Do not kill me. I Anima. apologize if I got it wrong. But this song is based on a comedy routine by Bill Hicks. Yeah. Oh. I have an uncle, Bill Hicks. <laughs> but this is not him. No, 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 no. <laughs> but Bill Hicks hated the city of Los Angeles. That's something we've seen on the channel a few times. He thought the people were very superficial and represented America at its worst. In his routine, which is sampled in the song, Hicks talks about California falling into the ocean and creating Arizona Bay. Apparently Maynard was a big fan of his uh, and drew inspiration from a lot of his comedy routines. And he spent six months writing the lyrics. Do you have any idea what anima means? No. <laughs> I've never even heard those words being spoken. Well, it's because it's a combination. Anima comes from the Latin word animus, meaning intellect, memory, consciousness, mind. And then enema is the purification of one's rectum through flushing water. Oh, <laughs> which doesn't sound fun, by the no, way. No. So this combination could mean a cleansing of the soul. This is from the album of the same name, second studio album released in 1996. The album title and the song title are spelled a little differently, though. The album title is spelled with an I, and the song is spelled with an E. I'm not sure why that is. You guys can let us know. But this album went triple platinum in the U.S. and Australia. Okay, so be forewarned. We do pause on this channel. I know some people don't like that. If you don't like it, complain to the HR department. I mean, yeah. I don't know what to tell Blame you. Blame YouTube. Or you can just listen to the song in its whole. That link will be in the description. You can always do that. Just yeah, and you can always fast forward, too. <laughs> but that's just what we do on this channel. Just have to let you know if you're new to the channel. Deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> now, every time we do Tool, I know the song. Pretty sure I've heard all Tool songs. Maybe not. And we don't know anything. I have heard it. These two have not. So we don't always, know anything about Tool. Yeah, it's always going to be a reaction because of these guys. <laughs> Nothing. It's been a while, but we're here now. This is Tool Anima. I couldn't help but see that we're all nodding to different tempos here. Yeah. Like, literally, all three of us. Not surprised. That part was splendid right there. That I'm was not a big even, switch up there. I'm not even sure if he took a breath right there. I mean, he said, he said like, Probably four lines. Verse. Yeah, I love the rhythms. Yeah. I mean, they're, they're just so different. I feel like if you get bored with a Tool song, you're just not listening hard enough. <laughs> you know, because it's just always these kind of odd rhythms. Going to the lyrics, it sounds like he's just done with L.A. All the fakeness, the characters, the shadiness. That goes on in L.A. I don't know if I like this song. <laughs> yeah, he's an L.A. man. <laughs> well, the truth hurts sometimes, right? <laughs> it sounds like he's saying, look, even if it's the apocalypse, we just need something to get L.A. out of here. Just move it somewhere, something. It's kind of like Patrick and SpongeBob. What if we just take L.A. and move push it, it over there? Yeah. <laughs> you know, maybe the only way to fix it is to flush it all away. And that goes back to the enema 
part of the title. But that could also mean a flood. You know, it's a big natural disaster that just wipes the city out of here. Learn to swim. So be conscious of your culture and try to change. Or you can just drown in that superficial mess. See you down in Arizona Bay. So that goes back to what comedian Bill Hicks was saying. Fret for your figure. There's nothing wrong with trying to be fit, trying to be healthy. But uh, especially in a place like Los Angeles, a lot of people obsess over that. It's all about your image. Image is everything. And they just take a lot of time in trying to perfect their bodies. Fred, for your latte. Do you guys like coffee? No. 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 (laughs) I don't think so. But you know a lot of people do. I don't care what anybody says. Starbucks is crazy. A lot of people are addicted to coffee. (laughs) They'll wear shirts like that say, don't talk to me until I've had my coffee. (laughs) Coffee, 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 coffee. Yeah, coffee's crazy. I need my coffee in the morning or else I can't function. A lot of people are like that. So you upgrade it to a latte. You know, because it's more fancy. Yeah. You know, the big cities. They yeah, it's got designs things. on the top and everything. Uh, excuse me, sir. I asked for soy milk in my latte. You know, you got those snobby people that do that. But people just, they rely on that so much. If they don't have that in part in their uh, in their routine, you know, they just freak out. Yeah, their whole morning is ruined. For, for your lawsuit, I'm sure that happens a lot in California. For, for your hairpiece, again, going back to the image. Look, we know it's a toupee. Fred, for your Prozac, damn. Yeah, that's, that's all I can say about that. Yeah. Fret for your pilot, so that can mean TV pilot, you know, Hollywood. Fret for your contract. And fret for your car. Do you really need a Lamborghini? Do you really need two Lamborghinis? So basically what he's saying is, at the end of the day, all these things don't make you a better person. They don't make you evolve as, as a person. Surrounding your life with all of these things, it's just a waste. It's a superficial lifestyle. Yeah, it's a waste of your time. It's just an important message. It's a message that still is going on today. Suggestion to keep you all occupied. 
transition into the, the, the drums in the background, man. I know. like when he sings with more, you know, power behind it. A little quiet thing, you know, I don't mind it. You know, it's setting like a mood. Yes. You know, it's... <laughs> right. But whenever he's like, ah, you know, I like that. Do you guys know who L. Ron Hubbard is? No. No. So he is the founder of the Church of Scientology. And I think I asked you guys before, you don't know much about Scientology at all, no. I don't think. Uh, I'm not going to get into it. It's a deep rabbit hole. You can just find all sorts of stuff about that. Make your own opinion. I'm just going to say I agree with Maynard. Yeah, when he says learn to swim, learn to swim, I like that added vocal. It kind of sounds like to me that he's creating the storm in his head. It kind of sounds like waves are forming, something like that. That's what it sounds like to me, so I think this part is actually really cool. Let's swim, let's swim, let's Man. <laughs> the endings are always on point with this band, man. I remember you saying in the Schism video, you were like, well, why can't the whole song be like that? Oh, yeah. yeah. And I think somebody replied to you, and they're like, well, it's about the journey. With this band, there's a lot of songs. If the ending was like that the entire song, the ending wouldn't hit as hard. It just wouldn't. It's kind of like when you watch a good movie, and you're like, oh, man, this is a really good movie. I hope they don't screw up the ending, because <laughs> that would be very yeah. disappointing. Yeah. If you just have the regular ending, it's like, well, you know, the middle was my, my favorite part. Yeah. When the ending's the best part, you know, it leaves you with a better taste. When it transitioned to the fifth verse, when I first heard the song, I thought something big was going to happen right after that. Just calm down. Calm before the storm. Yeah, and I think that was intentional because it's like, well, even though I want this to happen, I don't really expect it to happen. That's why he says, I'm praying for rain. I'm praying for tidal waves. I'm hoping that it's going to happen. The meaning of the song kind of reminds me of the Black Hole Sun meaning. I think it's very similar. But then he says, don't just call me pessimist. Try and read between the lines. So a lot of people can look in this song and just say, oh, well, he's just dissing L.A. You know, he doesn't like L.A., so what? Whatever. But he's trying to say, this needs to change. This type of culture, this superficial lifestyle, it's just not good for you. But L.A. just could be one example, the perfect example, because it's L.A., he could just be talking about that culture as a whole, no matter where you are. But I think when I first heard this song, I didn't love it. I don't even think it made my playlist at first. Really? Yeah, I think I said the same thing with Schism. I like this better you than know, Schism. Just in my experiences, some Tool songs, it just takes you a while 
to get used to their music, you know, because it's it's so different. They have their own sound. After learning what the song is about, after listening to them so many times, you get used to their grooves. Uh, I actually think it's a really good song. This is actually uh, one of my favorites. Of course, okay. I've only heard three, but uh, it is one of my favorites. <laughs> yeah, sure. I feel the same way about this one. You know, I said, you know, I wish it was the same the whole way through. Um, <laughs> <laughs> You're like that on every song. You yeah, want the best. I mean, you just want the end. Just tsh- yeah, just come in hard, yeah. baby. Just yeah. And plus, I, th- I like like I, I'm with Tyler how he when he picks his voice up. I like it a lot better yeah. too. Yeah, I think it's better when he sings like that. But I get why he does it. Yeah, yeah. And that's kind of that. that's kind of what I wanted to choose this song because you guys were saying I want the singer to you know pick it up just a little bit. Show me yeah. what you got. Yeah. But the truth is, he just doesn't have a strong voice. Oh, that, I think he does. Well, that's what people were commenting, and he's the type of guy that he likes to be in the background. Yeah, uh, that's clear. Yeah, but even on stage, like... Maybe he just needs a pep talk. Well, Come on, man, you got this. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, that's just his style, though. Yeah. He just wants the instruments to be at the forefront. But in this song, I would argue that the lyrics are in the spotlight here. Oh, most definitely. Which is different for Tool. You know, Tool, usually it's, oh, listen to the bass, the drums, Yeah, I've, like, rarely ever heard much anything from the guitar in this song. Like, all I get really from it is lyrics, bass, and drums. <laughs> Yeah, like, I, I mean, I yeah. heard a couple times, but I'm saying, like, I just really didn't pay attention. Well, it is. There are parts where it's kind of quiet in yeah. the mix. I'll give you that. I yeah. feel like he was just in the back, you know? Like, he was just... Well, he's creating those soundscapes. Yeah. Da, 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 da. yeah. No, I think the band is great on this song, too. I'm just saying that in their catalog, I think this is one of Maynard's best performances. I just do. I think this is well-written and uh, just the way he emotes in this song. It's just very genuine, very real. You know, you can tell he actually cares about what he's trying to convey here. Oh, yeah. You know, like, like we said, the message, that's still important, man. It, it's still important. It's still something that a lot of people could uh, learn from today. If you want to cleanse your soul a little bit, just listen to this band. <laughs> already feel a little cleansed already. But, yeah, that's it, guys. Give us your feedback and your suggestions. And, as always, please tell us your views. Thank you for subscribing and hit that notification bell. Peace, Peace out. out.